example, I have brought some other documents. I am going to give you a library. How? Let, let me share with you my unique experience. In mid 1990s, on formulation of Indian mission 2020 strategies, I was given the task of chairing a technology information forecasting assessment council. I recollect that in the first meeting of the council itself, we took a decision that TRIFAC must evolve a plan for how India can be transformed into an economically developed nation by the year 2020. When the suggestion was moved, and everybody was wondering how they can evolve such a long-term mission under that prevailing economic and societal condition of the country. That was the time that the Prime Minister had just announced the economic liberalization and growth measure for the Indian economy and its impact and just started being that. In spite of this, the council, Taipan Council, with many young members, jumped into the idea that we discuss for one full day and how we can translate the thought into action. At a time when the economy was growing around 5 to 6 percent per annum in GDP, we had envisaged in the document a growth rate of at least 10 percent per annum cons consistently for over 10 years for realizing the development vision for a brilliant democratic people of multilingual, multi-religious, multicultural characteristics. This really ignited the minds of all of us in the council. The members of Taipa Council at that time included, you can see there, the type of guys who participated, principal secretary of the Prime Minister, nine secretaries to the government of India, chiefs of CIA Corporation of Indian Industry, Asocha, Fiki, Fiki, Chairman of the IDA, ICA, ICA, IOCA, Chairman of Public Sector Corporation, and Chief Executive of number of private sector institutions, Vice Chancellor of different universities and scientists from the Department of Science and Technology. We devoted and arrived at 17 tasks with over 500 members who had consultation with over 5,000 people in various sectors of the economy. Committees worked for over two years, resulting 25 brought some report, 25 reports, which will be presented to then Prime Minister of India on 2nd August 1996. I have selected five tasking reports for your study, and it will be available in your library. The reports included vision on areas such as agro food processing, agriculture research, advanced census, civil aviation, electronic power waterways, road transportation, telecommunication, food and agriculture, engineering industries, healthcare, life sciences, and biotechnology, material like that goes on. And uh, now, the transform India into a developed nation implies that every citizen of the country lives last night, there was a question. Transforming India into a developed nation implies that every citizen of the country lives well above the poverty line. Their education and health is of high standard, national security assured, and poor competence set in major areas established, production of quality goods competitively, including for export, bringing all around prosperity for the countrymen with employment potential. This event led to the birth of a book. You have seen some of India 2020, my friend uh, Rajan, we have vision for the new billion. Based on various input, the government announced the vision statement that India will become a developed nation by 2020 in Parliament. Such a statement is very rare, since every government is elected only for a period of five years. And thinking about 20 years' time frame by the Parliament and the government set a new precedent for the country at the time. Now let me present the current ambience of the nation. In Indian history, a very rarely has a nation come across a situation all at a time as an ascending economic trajectory, continuously rising quality change reserves, the energy of 540 million youth, only the connectivities of 23 million, now it's 26 million, 
Today, it's really a deal of Indian audience in various parts of the planet. With the potential sharing capacity of the knowledge and the interest grown by many developed countries to invest in our engineers and scientists and managers, including setting up our research and development centers. The distinction between public and the private sector and the illusory primary of one over the other is slowly vanishing. Our technological competence and value system in civilization heritage are also highly respected. Foreign institutional investors are finding investing in India attractive, but we have hesitated. Our industries are also investing abroad and opening a new business ventures. The Indian economy is growing with an average annual GDP growth rate of only 8%. Presently, we have the challenge of high inflation. I have slight different GDP growth rate. We have to meet this challenge and go for realizing target of 10% GDP growth uh, within the next two years. Now let me give my visualization of India during the year 2020 at what you all react. Number one, distinct profile of the nation by 2020, how do you Number one, a nation where the rural and the urban divide has resulted to a thin line. You have responded to this. Yes. The first pillar, many of you responded. Yeah, I will come back. A nation where there is an equitable distribution and the adequate access to energy and quality water. This also you have addressed. So then follow or you just left it. Okay. <laughs> Third fellow, very important fellow, a nation where agriculture, industry and service sector work together in system. And definitely, it is a very important field I am going to talk to you because you left it and it's up to you. Fourth, a nation where education with various systems not denied to getting meritorious candidate because of societal or economic discrimination. You will be very well addressed by the fourth pillar. Fifth one, a nation which is the best distinction for the most talented scholars, scientists, investors. This also you are class. A nation where the best of health care is available to all. A good team has worked on that. A nation where the governance responds you transparent and corruption free. This also you asked a number of good questions. A nation where poverty has been totally eradicated, illiteracy removed, and crimes against women and children are absent and the lack in the society feels alienated. This also will address the ninth pillar, the eighth pillar. Ninth pillar, a nation that prosperous, healthy, secure, devoid of terrorism, peaceful, happy, and continues with the sustainable growth path. The last one, silent. None of you addressed. Last one, a nation that is one of the best places, a nation that is one of the best places to live in and is proud 